Then we've got the check detail report. So when we think about the check form, those are gonna be forms that are decreasing uh, the checking account. We would think oftentimes the other side of that transaction would be the expenses, which is why we would have it down here in the expense area. Let's open that one up. I'm gonna do so by right clicking on it and open in a new tab and go to the tab to the right and check it out. I'm gonna close the hamburger scroll up to the range change or range change 010122 tab 123122 tab and run it to refresh it so here we have basically the detail of the report and so we've got the date we've got the transaction type the thing that was entered in order to record the decrease in essence of the checking account the number the name notice what type of forms we have here on the decreases they're not all just check forms the check form is the broad encompassing form that you can think of as the one being used to decrease the checking account. And then you have other forms that also kind of give you more information just because of the form type being used. In other words, the bill payment form is a check type form, but I know the other side went to the accounts payable. An expense form is in essence a check form in that it decreases the checking account, but it doesn't have a check number to it. The sales tax payment is in essence a check form in that it decreases the checking account, but I know that it's a special one that's paying off the sales tax and we're using the sales tax widget to do that. Expense form, checks forms, bill forms, those are gonna be the standard forms that we will see. Then we've got the name, we've got the memo, we've got the clear, we've got the amount. This is a, a type of report that you might apply filtering options to. So you might say, I'm gonna look at the decreases here in general and then po possibly you customize and it would be common to filter by type here. So then we might go up top and say, I'm gonna filter possibly by transaction type. And instead of just looking at all the decrease type forms, I can go in here and look at maybe just the paychecks or let's take a look at the bill payment checks and filter in that way. So that's a common way that we might filter this kind of report. Now note that you can get the similar kind of detail for this report by going to the first tab or to our balance sheet tab, I mean, and go into our checking account and we see the transaction detail report here. So the transaction detail, these are all the transactions increases and decreases to the checking account. And then you could try to filter this one by the items that are gonna decrease the checking account. So in other words, I could customize this report and go down to the filtering options and choose the transaction type. And then I can select the transactions that are decreases to the checking account. So I might not pick all of them here, but just to get an idea, we've got the check, of course, is a decrease to the checking account type of form. The bill payment, a paycheck type of form would be a decrease to the checking account. I'm gonna look for that expense form down here just to pick it up. And then, so let's just run those, for example. So now we've got the types of forms that are decreases to the checking account. Now note that having multiple forms here that are decreases to the checking account can be nice and is nice because it gives us more information by just looking at the transaction type. However, it also comes with problems as well because note, if I'm looking to run a report and filter it by transaction type that decreases the checking account, I can't pick just one thing, which would be a check type of form. Instead, I have to pick all these different items to make sure I'm picking all up all the different items that could be used to make a decrease to the checking account. So there's pros and cons of that. I'm gonna go back 